talk about how flowers can beautify any room or dress up any occasion, whether you grow them or you love to pick them, take care of them. Well, we're going to show you how you can get the most out of them. There are a few tricks so that you can actually get them to last longer. That's right. And uh, you're looking for a way to make them the graduation bouquets or anniversary arrangements bloom vibrantly. Stay fresh for a few more days. Uh, Sarah Yeager from Everwild Florals is here with some tips on how to give them a little more life. Welcome back to Better Thank Kansas you. City. It's great Thank to you see you again. again. And of course, it smells fantastic with all the flowers <laughs> over here. And your arrangements are always so beautiful and Thank just you. colorful and, and great. How do we make our bouquets last longer? Or what makes some of them last longer uh, than others? I know I go get my wife a, 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 a bouquet. And I think we talked about this last time you were here. Mm -hmm. Maybe I go to the places you shouldn't get you the bouquets from. Um, You're but learning. <laughs> I'm learning, slowly but surely. You're teaching me, and I'm learning. So how do we get them to last longer? Yeah, so the biggest thing that you can really do is make sure that they're being sourced as fresh as possible mm -hmm. from the beginning. You know, 87% of the cut flowers in the United States actually come from South America. And so many times these flowers have been off of the vine for 7 to 14 days before they wow. even hit your kitchen table. Already? Yes. Crazy. So working with a reputable florist that's local to make sure they always have a fresh um, turn of inventory in their cooler. And then at Everwild, we also work with some local farmers as well to okay. help make sure that we're bringing in the freshest flowers that are going to have a shorter transit time. So, for example, like these flowers right here, you talked about the other ones we might pick up at a supermarket or mm -hmm. something might be 7 to 14 days off the vine. How fresh are these flowers here then? So we, these we would just picked up, what, what day is today? Today is Wednesday? I don't Wednesday? know, today's Wednesday, <laughs> yes. So we picked these up yesterday and, and don't had ask hard these questions. arranged. That's yes, my job. absolutely. So we make sure that those are going to be able to last as long as possible for you. And first off, besides the flowers here in this bouquet, mm -hmm. I'm going to show everybody here. I love the fact that you wrapped it up in oh, the you. Kansas City Star. That's yes. kind of cool. Isn't it's that unique. Fun, I mean, the newspaper? everybody mm -hmm. thinks you would just grab like, you know, your uh, a plastic you know, the baggie mm -hmm. or whatever they have in the store to put it in, but that's unique and has a little local touch to it, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Very cool. Mm -hmm. And then, um, how can we make flowers last longer in the vase themselves? So we're going to do a locally sourced flower. Sure. So we know we're going to automatically get a little bit more time with it, but how do we take care of it in the vase to make it last longer? So one of my favorite secrets is called crowning glory. Crowning glory. Yes. Uh, what you want to do, what we do for every bouquet before we go out the door is just give it a nice spritz. And what this actually does is it creates a, uh, cle it creates a clear wax that coats the flower so that they do not lose moisture through the stems and through uh, the petals as well. Oh, okay. You can actually get this on Amazon if you want it for your own cut flowers from your garden. Hmm. Um, and that's a, a little florist secret that's there. That's a secret. Yes, it is. Write it down. Uh, uh, can you get it locally here, like in like just a, a store as well, or is that something you'd Possibly. I haven't seen it, but oh, okay. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. But crowning glory. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Now, I know there's always the food packet that comes yep, with it, absolutely. and I always crack those open and put mm -hmm. it in the, in the, in the vase Good as well. Work. Is that definitely recommended still or is there a specific brand I should be looking for for that? Any of them really work. What's interesting about f the floral food is the two ingredients that are really the main ingredients in it are sugar and bleach. Really? Yes. <laughs> so the sugar gives the flowers food uh -huh. and then the bleach kills the bacteria in the water. That so if sense. you will yeah. consistently change out the water in the vase every two to three days, mm -hmm. when you do so, cut the stems at a 45 degree angle, just an inch or two. That way the stems can continue to bring up fresh nutrients and there isn't bacteria that's growing and that allows them to continue okay. to have what they need to keep, Excellent. keep fresh and keep blooming. Well, those are some great tips and I am looking forward to making my flowers last longer uh, when I give them to my wife on the kitchen table. Perfect. We don't want them to go bad in like two days, right? No, not at all. All right, Sarah, thank you very much. Belinda, over to you.